guys. Well, I wanted to cover um, my newer water system that I'm going to be using this summer. Um, initially, I wanted a little bit bigger uh, water capacity uh, for my bug out bag and a, something a little bit more versatile, a little bit more sturdy. And I, what I was using was the old dromedary bag. Still holding up. Um, it's a little discolored. I actually had it outside and uh, these are raindrops off my roof. Uh, it's not leaking. But um, this is a 6 liter uh, dromedary bag. Originally bought uh, a few years back for something for water storage and I wanted to be able to carry a larger capacity of water um, across the uh, desert areas of the Pacific Crest Trail. And so that's originally when I bought it. Um, since then, during the summertime, it tends to be, it's got pollen on it is what this is. Um, it seems to be my uh, sort of truck water bag that I carry. Uh, so I always have water for me and usually my dog. Um, Max usually is, you know, out running around doing things in the hot summer. And uh, it's nice just to throw this in the back. So this has survived being in the back of the truck, being thrown around, being having stuff put on top. And uh, it's still super versatile. One of the things MSR did right was they integrated in the same 63 millimeter screw on lid that we had known for years in the old camel or uh, Nalgene, sorry. Uh, you know, Nalgene's have been around for a very long time and were you know, indestructible. They were the go to kit for years. I've had this specific one, which is a non BPA or which is a BPA uh, bottle, but um, you know, it's a little sentimental for me because. Uh, you know, it's been on so many trips and so many good memories. So, um, it does have a new lid on there, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, held up for years. And that was one of the things that MSR did right. Uh, because recently you also saw, I think it was fixed by Doc. Um, the attachment I have on here right now is actually a shower attachment. Um, this is just a one-way valve, comes down to a little fluted, uh, sort of, you know, it's not super great, but it does a decent shower. The black bag allows you to uh, heat it up in the sun, very similar to any sort of, you know, other shower bag. But merely by carrying this small hose, um, you know, it's not a dedicated shower bag like some of the other Sea to Summits and collapsible shower kits that they're out there. Once I unscrew this, I can immediately go back to just having a water carry bag. So it is extremely versatile. It's something I usually keep in the truck. Uh, because I don't usually have a need for such a large water supply. And, um, you know, going back, Camelbacks have now pretty much proven themselves. Uh, they've come out with a pretty good warranty where basically, you know, you've got to, they'll, no matter what, they'll, they'll cover you, I think is some sort of slogan they've got. And, you know, the idea of bladders has come a long way from the old noun jeans. And this is one of the original sort of ideas that they had. Not very effective because normally you carry this this way. In this configuration you have to carry it so that the water can get to the tube and then very rudimentary uh, bite valve. And uh, you know this was sort of first generation um, camelback if you will. Um, not super ideal. The hose never really worked. It wasn't quite long enough for where you need to hold this. Um, it didn't always work easily uh, to put in your bag with the hose upside down. But, again, this was the first try, and, uh, you know, since then, we have graduated to the Camelback. Now, again, most people aren't going to need a 6-liter. They have a very similar system in the 3-liter. Uh, I believe they call it their Hot Shot. Again, this is sort of their military uh, version of a lot of their uh, civilian bags. And uh, Cordura outside, um, with the 6-liter, you get this extra little pouch zip here. What that does is it allows you to access, let me see if I got my flashlight here. I want you to see that this is actually a see-through bag. Uh, it's like a smoke tinted. Uh, the bag material itself is more, I guess, plasticky than the rubber that the old blue ones used to be. And uh, one of the things I remarked when I first bought the, um, the platypus uh, a big zip is that mylar material didn't ever 
from the get-go have any sort of aftertaste. That's one of the things that the earlier Camelbacks had was they had that plasticky aftertaste and you sort of had to throw some baking soda in there and you kind of had to use it for a while to get that taste out. And some people absolutely hated that taste and it really turned them off of um, having some you know, Camelback system. Uh, the name is synonymous with having some sort of water bladder, uh, whether it's a Camelback or not. Um, there are a lot of knockoff brands and I've had failures. I mentioned another video um, of non-brand uh, bladders, but ever since I've stuck with, you know, platypus and camelback and sort of brand name water bladders, I have never had one fail. Not to say that it would never fail, but, um, you know, I just think that water is so important. You know, you can carry redundancies with you. You can carry multiple ones. If you are building some sort of bug out bag or something, I think that is important to have, you know, these weigh, what is it, an ounce or less, you know, to have one liter, two liter bottles. You know, it, those are easy to carry. And if you're not using them, they don't take up much room. Um, Camelback, this latest system, is a pretty impressive system. Not only is there a shut off that I can lock the, um, the water from coming out that way, quick release which is uh, very similar to some of the other systems coming out and uh, what you'll see is let me pull the uh, Sawyer out here and suck the water out since there's water in there just to give you an idea here's a Camelback inline rated for 300 liters compared to the Sawyer and I'm gonna do a separate video actually on this but um, very impressed with the system I like the uh, the materials they're putting into the bags now and I really appreciate uh, the fact that they're going wider and lower profile um, even the three liter version of this is just the same proportions only smaller which means there's less room sticking up into your backpack less room taking up uh, they are a little bit more finicky like especially the six liter with getting it to fit in some of the modern backpack uh, systems they're really meant for you know this is the military version so this is meant to clip on to you know an LBE or um, some sort of plate carrier uh, but it still works in uh, civilian use the tube itself is neoprene which isn't anything new but uh, it's, it's done very well in this case it really keeps uh, it from freezing or getting hot uh, one of the old tricks you used to have to do in the old camelbacks was uh, blow back to get the water back into the character uh, carrier the other thing is i don't have to use uh, this outside sleeve if i wanted to i can pull this out um, but i really like the insulation value that this holds uh, to keep all this water cold not only inside your backpack but inside this outer protective cordura sleeve it's another protection for the water bladder because water is so vital and uh, along with the quick release system something Camelback did I think much better than the platypus system is not only that you get a second shutoff valve here below their quick disconnect and the one thing I don't have on here is they do have what they call a tactical pump and it's just that it's literally about this size I'll probably be getting it later this year um, and what it enables you to do is uh, you can connect your pump directly on here put the other tube in the water source the lake whatever it happens to be if you need to filter it you can actually put this in line coming from the lake and then it connects through the pump directly into your tube so you have no need to take this out of your backpack and that's one of the main things a lot of people uh, dislike about having a water bladder is the fact that you have to remove it from your bag um, Nowadays, with the newer quick disconnects, if you can get a pump uh, that works uh, with a system like that, then all you have to do is grab here, disconnect your bite valve, hook up your pump, and pump it direct directly in. The Camelback does not have a filter, it's just a pump. So if you have the inline, um, you can actually disconnect that and hook it to there. But again, you've now had to get into your bag dis disconnected if that's the system you're using so you can either keep the filter with the pump and pump the filtered water into here or what I'm choosing to do for other purposes and other reasons I'll get into other videos um, is I'm choosing to keep the filter in line of my uh, my bladder hose that way I can fill this with dirty water I know that it is filled with dirty water 
Um, if I put clean water in there, I still better have uh, the inline filter in the hose system. And uh, if you want, you could leave this out. It's a little obnoxious, but this is sort of the Lego version that they have now. And uh, actually, the flow rate's backwards on that, so you can't do that. So I take that back. You can't hook it up like that because the flow rate goes the other way. But that's what you would do if you hooked up the tactical pump. If the water was coming in this way, it would now go into the bag clean. Um, but again, I'm choosing to put dirty water in here and to filter it before it gets to me, to my bite valve. Hope all that makes sense. Um, the bite valve itself, uh, like I mentioned in the Platypus video, I recently did uh, sort of a test with friends. Um, some friends that are not familiar with hiking, some that are, and basically just nondescript which one was easier to get water out of. And uh, we'll do it in a different video, but we also compared uh, with the filters, without the filters. And believe it or not, they chose the Camelback bite system, even though it doesn't have the same lip that. Uh, the platypus does sort of your teeth catch on that lip it's a little bit smaller it was easier to get water out of the camelback and they've been doing it for years so I'm guessing they've got a system that works the nice thing about the mill spec one you may be able to get extra is this does have a cover so what you're putting your mouth off on uh, stays completely clean and away from stuff until you take it off um, I know someone is going to ask we'll do it in a separate video but the quick disconnect uh, is a different size than the camelback. I'm sure they did it on purpose, but I could not get it to fit properly and lock in with the Sawyer. So they purposely devised their own slightly different size system with their own gaskets to work with the quick, quick disconnect, and I'm sure it was done on purpose. Um, what else? Am I covering anything else? I guess that's it. You know, solid Cordura, six liter uh, capacity. Uh, the top again like I mentioned in the platypus video on here your typical camelback would have a single attachment in the middle which you have to check on your pack to see whether it's going to work it does have a nice uh, clip on the top with some webbing so you can easily attach this um, to a tree or hang it by something uh, without having to worry about that that plastic clip which you can bend um, so with six liters you really want something more substantial like the webbing uh, four D-ring attachment points, and uh, there is an attachment point at the bottom if you want to hang it upside down. Um, but pretty versatile system, and this is the one I chose. Uh, originally, it was going to my bug out bag, and um, it's now going to be uh, part of my wildland system. But uh, very impressed with the, uh, the the military version, anyway, is what I have experience with. Uh, but the newer Camelback system is uh, very cool. Thanks for watching.